I remember going to Yosemite for the first time. Uh, I was in the car driving, and I was with my wife, who is blind. And as we were going into Yosemite, we were going through a certain entrance, and suddenly I came through a tunnel, and Yosemite just kind of opened up in front of us. And my spouse, who can't see, said, What are you saying? Describe it to me. And I had such a hard time describing Yosemite to her because it it was so big and beautiful and seeing El Capitan and seeing just the different surfaces around me that that just emerged and yet it was so intimate it was like the mountains were surrounding me almost uh, in a protective kind of way and for the uh, Awanichi uh, native tribe that land, uh, the meadow land within Yosemite, is a sacred place. And I imagine for them that it has to do with that, also with that feeling of being surrounded by uh, holy. For them, that means they're remembering their ancestors. Uh, for the Israelites, in Psalm 125, they also had a, a similar kind of scene where they were looking up at Mount Zion. This is one of the Psalms of Ascension, and so they were going together in a pilgrimage up the hill and trying to find that sense of contentment and that sense of solace. And the psalmist describes the hills as God surrounding them, uh, God coming all around them, and I think so often we think of God kind of out there or something that um, is someplace that we need to get to. But this particular psalm talks about God as already being there, as being uh, surrounding us uh, and sustaining us. And so one practice that I sometimes do is as I look up at the mountains that are near me, uh, perhaps there are mountains near you or mountains that you've been to and you can remember them uh, and I walk uh, in those hills or, or imagine walking in those hills and being surrounded by them is like being surrounded by God and remembering that those mountains have been there for millennia and will be there for millennia after me that my problems are not so big at least not as big as God is Hear these words from Psalm 125, and if you are feeling anxiety, let this fill your heart, let this fill your soul today. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved but abides forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from this time on and forevermore. And so God is like that mountains that surrounds them and they are also then like a mountain that cannot be moved. It is a strength that sustains, especially when we feel anxiety. Yosemite uh, was renamed uh, by the, uh, after the uh, Awani had originally named it Big Mouth, was kind of the literal definition, but later on it was called Yosemite. It meant killer. It meant um, a place of, of pain. And and so in some ways, uh, Yosemite has become for the people uh, within those places. Um, the Yosemite has been kind of healed for them or had to have a sense of healing for them so that they, they wouldn't feel that anxiety um, that their ancestors had, had felt from being removed from that place. They had to kind of reclaim that as sacred ground. And perhaps you need to reclaim in your life that same kind of sacred ground. God be with you uh, on your journey. My name is Muntu Joshi. I'm one of the pastors at the San Ramon Valley United Methodist Church. Uh, you can go to srvumc.org to find out more about our community and also about opportunities to connect with others online. If you wouldn't mind just letting me know that you are here in some way um, and letting me know how I can pray for you, I do always pray through the list. Uh, or you can message us directly and let us know how we can be in prayer for you. Uh, whatever is most helpful for you, just know that we are thinking of you in your anxiety today. God be with you. Amen.